Michael Collins and uh, Ricky Don't Lose My Number on the new Q95 FM. This is Dick Burton with you. Our pledge number is 9685100. We have a kind of a unique uh, idea coming up here in just a moment. We're going to uh, offer up uh, if you'll uh, kick in for $120 on that uh, bed and breakfast uh, club. Bed and breakfast. Am I saying that right? No. Bed and bread. I lost it. See that? You know what happens? Danny, does this happen to you on your show? You put the note somewhere else and then you forget what it's all about. No, I got the number. I need the name. Yeah, bed and bread. There it is right there, of course. Okay, back with Danny McLean, and we'll do that right after this. You know that a little auction? What is that, Danny? Yeah, when I played baseball, although, you know, I was just thinking my career batting average was 161. It's got to get you three, four 400,000 a year now. Yeah. Forget the pitching. I mean, you could make three, four, especially if they give, you know, Noakes, uh, the 650. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. anyway, I've got some baseball bats. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we should auction one of those off. Mm -hmm. They are absolutely pure. I mean, they have not been touched by... Certainly, I didn't touch much when I had them. Uh, yeah, so, right. if anybody wants to bid on one of these bats, uh -huh. and we'll be glad to... We'll autograph it. We'll put Matt Noakes' name on it or somebody. I love it. And any other name you want us to put now, on is it, we'll this is this a bat that you used uh, during your major league this career? This was... It, it wasn't, you know, this thing isn't 20 years old. Mm -hmm. but it's that I would have used had I been able to hit anything with it. <laughs> you know? I mean, I, you got to remember, when I reach... Uh, you, these bat companies give uh, you an awful lot every year. You know, they used to give us 20, 30 bats apiece. Uh, uh, and over the 10 years I played, I must have retired with about 250 of them because I never broke any. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and this I is mean, one of those bands. These are one of those bands. Okay, there it is. Uh, uh, the number again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, nine six eight five one hundred. If you'd like to uh, bid on that, it'll cost you $120. And, uh, Denny, uh, you know Mr. Cosell here, don't you? Hi, Howard. Hello, Dennis. I thought you were dead, Howard. <laughs> well, Dennis, I'm still around. I saw you at the basketball game the other day. You look terrific. Well, you know, I'm a sports commentator, but first and foremost, a sports fan. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Howard. Mm -hmm. And I must say, I'm a fan of yours, Danny McLean. The man. The legend. The superstar. Dennis, I will never forget the first time I ever saw you play. It was in a small lounge with you on stage playing some of my favorite songs on the organ. Yeah. I knew then this man was a great player who would definitely end up in the organist hall of fame. <laughs> well, there's a lot of lines you can come out with that. Eh, Daddy? <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, you yeah. could do it all. Mm -hmm. Everything from Proud Mary to the awe-inspiring tribute to Barry Manilow. <laughs> Dennis Dale McLean, what bar are you working in? Uh? Denny McLean will personally autograph for you, of course. The donation is $120 at 9685 100. Tally who? It's I was, you know, I was literally run out of town by uh, Joe Falls and Pete Walmer. They had made a constant uh, day I was the target for them uh -huh. uh, during that period of time. Of course, I had some problems. I deserved a lot of it, but uh, nonetheless, they traded me to Washington to the Washington Senators. Uh -huh. uh, I went into Campbell's office, got down on my hands and knees, and begged to be traded. I never realized he'd send me to hell. Uh, you know, I didn't know he had that opera. I always called him a god, but he proved it to me at that yeah, point. Yeah, he did. Because <laughs> he sent me to play for probably the worst manager in the history of the game, Ted Williams. Oh, right. Was oh, Ted a bad manager? Oh, was he? Yeah. God, I mean, it was it was just awful. In fact, our relationship in spring training started. Uh, somebody went to Ted and said, "Well, what do you think of McLean being here?" And he said, "Well, we traded away our franchise. Mm -hmm. Aurelio Rodriguez came over here, Joe Coleman, uh, Eddie Brinkman, and a guy named mm -hmm. Hannah." And uh, he said, "We traded away our whole franchise." And, and of course, the reporters have a field day with a statement mm -hmm. like that, so sure. they immediately came running to me mm -hmm. and said, "Well, what do you think of that?" I said, "I didn't realize they'd won the World Series last year." <laughs> uh, uh, so our our relationship that started badly quickly went into the outhouse very sure, quickly. You know, sure. I mean, it was it was we had such a bad ball club. We couldn't hit it, couldn't catch it, couldn't throw it, couldn't bunt it. <laughs> we used to have contests during the middle of the season when we were losing. And we only, by the way, we weren't as bad as the last year Tigers Club. We only lost 97 that year. <laughs> <laughs> but we used to have contests to see who could hit the ball out of the infield in the air. <laughs> I mean, that's how bad the ball club was. I mean, it was awful. Just oh, awful. I love it. That's yeah. fabulous. Just terrible. All right, Denny. Denny McLean's been with us today. Uh, thank you very much, Denny. It's always good seeing you. You are really a natural. Dick, not only not the old mom, but also at radio. So thanks very much for joining us. And uh, we appreciate it. And we'll uh, hopefully see you next year. Thank you. You guys need to call. Need to call and help these guys raise some money. Exactly. Thanks, Number, Dick. once again, is 968-5100. And Denny McLean's bat is up. He'll autograph that for you. $120 donation to the Bed and Bread Club. 968-5100. Call right now, please. In this half hour, brought to you by the Comprehensive Health People.
This half hour, join Dick and his guests, Nelson Mandela, Martha the Mandela, the girl named Stella, <laughs> and a bunch of nice fellas. And now, here's your host, Dick Burton and Casey. And here's your announcer, Casey. And this half hour is brought to you by First State Bank, here on WKQR Detroit. And Chicago, what kind of man would I be? The new Q95 FM at 16 after 1 in the afternoon. Uh, we're going to be uh, continuing our talk with the John Smintak, uh, back page editor of the Detroit Free Press, right after this. For this uh, stuff with uh, Donald Trump and Ivana, what's the latest? Uh, who is the mystery lady in all that? Two words, Dick. Marla Maples. Ooh. Okay, Marla Maples. Marla Maples. Ooh. Okay, now, now tell me who Marla Maples is. She's from Georgia, I've heard. A, and that's a, a Miss Georgia runner up. Oh. Ah. I mean, it makes you wonder what Miss Georgia looks like. Well, you do. Wait a minute. Uh, Colleen Burke. I read in the paper that the (laughs) Miss America pageant said she was never in Miss Georgia. Mm. She was never part of the Miss Georgia or the Miss America pageant. I read that in the paper, John. We'll have to check the wires uh, (laughs) later today, find out what the latest on Marla is. But uh, Shirley Eater, who I know uh, happens to share your birthday, Dick. She does. She does, yeah. I'd like to see that horoscope. That's right. (laughs) Anyhow, um, uh, Shirley uh, reported that, uh, that... uh, Marla and uh, Donald were uh, a kusum twosome out on the uh, slopes at Aspen. And uh, that, uh, forget about uh, Miss Oxenberg and uh, 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 high skater uh, Peg- Peggy, Robin Fleming. Peggy Fleming and Robin Givens. Nah, they or were was just, it Brian Baton? Ro- Robin, uh, <laughs> no, Robin went to Trump for uh, financial advice. That's what that was about. <laughs> I see. That's how that worked. Uh, 